Alright, hey everybody, this is Carter, also known as Mercenot on YouTube. Uh, this is my contribution to the modern playbook. And it seems that the handful of books that I selected aren't superhero related, and they're predominantly Star Wars. Uh, I definitely am not a Star Wars aficionado, but uh, these books definitely caught my eye, and I see the potential for them. Uh, dollar wise down the road okay what are we starting off with Star Wars Age of Rebellion Boba Fett number one variant I'm not quite sure if this book is a ratio or a um, or an incentive I, I from what I from what it looks like this is this is what this is like maybe a one in one um, whatever the whatever the store the comic book store uh, decided to order on these that's what it looks like to me and I and I just started getting into collecting Star Wars comics I, I want to not necessarily you know like the Dark Horse on uh, uh, key issues of Star Wars and I started I want to say like a couple of months ago back in May and in all that time of searching for Star Wars issues I've never seen this and uh, I saw this um, probably a couple of months ago and this immediately caught my eye and when I looked it up um, there are no copies to be had on eBay right now as of July 23rd and the last copy that I saw be sold was uh, was a copy back in this time in June for thirty dollars, and before that was a month before back in May, uh, around uh, May twenty third, and that sold for maybe yeah, it sold for thirty dollars. So uh, I'm thinking if this book ever comes back to market. I would expect this book to really uh, to do basically do better than thirty dollars. I would have to imagine uh, maybe fifty, maybe seventy-five. I you know it, I think this book just has a lot of potential. And uh, like I said, I the, in the two months that I was looking for Star Wars, I'd never seen this, and um, I saw this book two weeks ago and I haven't seen this book again since um, again a lot of potential for this great Boba Fett cover uh, awesome just red background that makes everything pop uh, the art is by the cover art is by Mike McCone uh, it's a uh, puzzle it's a puzzle variant uh, which is a fancy word for a connecting variant and um, yeah it's just a really really awesome looking cover uh, with a huge upside and a lot of potential all right we're moving on uh, with some more Star Wars and we're doing Star Wars adventures Star Wars adventures so uh, this is a I guess you can say a kids title and uh, number th this is number 30 retail incentive variant I believe this is a 1 in 10 this is a 1 in 10 variant uh, featuring Kylo Ren on the cover. Now, I'm not necessarily the biggest fan of the um, the sequel trilogy, but it seems that Kylo Ren is probably the best thing to come out of the sequel trilogy. Just a really uh, cool look. Um, I know his his uh, the series uh, Rise of Kylo Ren. It's uh, it's a pretty uh, decent title relatively hot there are some um, books there are, you know especially the the first issue of that is you know nowhere to be found uh, so I should tell you something um, Derek charm is the artist and uh, using a really limited color palette so we have black we have red we have gray and that's about it and this is extremely extremely effective uh, just a great looking cover uh, featuring Kylo Ren and uh, General Huxley. 
um, looking very perturbed. But yeah, this is a book that uh, I actually haven't even shown this, either this one or this, I haven't shown at all on my own channel. Um, I, have yet to, I have yet to show these books off, but uh, just I really, really like this one. Um, again, I believe this book came out in late January. So this was before uh, all the pandemic and quarantine and all that. Uh, uh, I believe I said this is a 1 in 10. And the last copy that I saw be sold on eBay uh, was, uh, I want to say, either a, month, either a month or two months ago. And it was a buy it now. It was a $50 or buy it now. And it ended, if you do a watch count on it, uh, it ended at $45. So that's very, very respectable, okay? Uh, like I said, great, just intense cover, intense subject matter. And uh, yeah, so we have Star Wars. And on top of that, it's a kid's title. So who's ordering, you know, 10 copies of a kid's title for their store? Nine times out of 10, they're going to order like maybe one or two or maybe even three I, honestly maybe even five on the high end so uh, I have to imagine this book is uh, pretty rare especially for it being a kid's title and it being an incentive variant um, yeah uh, again uh, great potential great uptick all right we're moving on uh, we have some more Star Wars we have some more Star Wars uh, Star Wars Age of Republic, Padme Amidala, uh, number one, another uh, connecting variant. And uh, I I don't think there are a lot of iconic looking uh, Padme cover. Well, I take that back. There is one. Um, I can't remember, but it's kind of, it's like her, it's basically, it's like her face and she's like crying and, but uh, I don't think she really lends herself well to um, not like, especially not like, say, Boba Fett, who's probably one of the probably one of the top two hottest um, top two hottest Star Wars characters. Uh, she doesn't rank that high as far as quote unquote hotness as, by way of uh, being a character. But I think this cover is just amazing. Um, again, you have that red background just making the image pop. Uh, this book isn't... Um, it's not hard to find. I think you can. there are, I think, $7 copies available on eBay right now. But I really, really like this cover. And if you're going to search for a Padme cover... Uh, this would probably be the one, you know. So, yeah, I really don't want to say too much about this one, but I really, really like this cover. All right, we're moving on. So we're moving on from Star Wars, and we're going into G.I. Joe. We're going into G.I. Joe. So we have, uh, from the IDW series, uh, G.I. Joe Special Missions, number three this is a retail incentive variant i believe this is either uh gosh i want to say a one in either a one in ten or a one in fifteen variant uh done by jim rugg gi joe a real american hero number 194 either 194 or 196 uh features jim rugg art and it's kind of like a nod to the animated uh to the G, basically the G.I. Joe cartoon of the 80s that everybody uh, knows and loves. And I like this one a lot. If uh, that one plays off of nostalgia, this one does the same. Uh, you have, and instead of, uh, instead of the animated characters, you have, uh, well, or rather the characters in animated form, animation form, you have uh, the characters in toy form. And Jim Rugg did the art for that uh, animated, that quote-unquote animated variant. 
and he also did the art here so he's definitely playing he, he, it seems like he really loves playing off of nostalgia and uh, you see the characters uh, done as action figures and then you see Lady J in the middle uh, she's uh, somehow come to life and she wants to break free of this collector's uh, this collector's uh, toy box it's, it looks like and I really really dig this cover I actually talked about this book I want to say a couple of years ago and when I came across it and I came across another copy for I believe oh man I think I came across this copy for like ten dollars or something like that and um, it really got me thinking about uh, that uh, other Jim Rugg cover there is a copy available on eBay for I believe thirty dollars so yeah and I really do I just love Jim Rugg's art he also did a he also did a graphic novel called aphrodisiac which is his take on the black exploitation films of the 70s uh, but done in comic book form uh, I thought I just thought that was just it was fun it was brilliant it was you know it was just it was um, it was just a lot of fun to read and uh, yeah and on top of that with this cover I would say uh, you have like all the all of the familiar uh, G.I. Joe toys that I think every kid had in the 80s. Flint, Shipwreck, Bazooka, Gung Ho, Beachhead, and at the top you have Lifeline. Not necessarily the most popular character, uh, Deep Six, and I want to call him Barbecue, but it's not Barbecue. Uh, I forget. It's, it's not Airtight either. It's not Barbecue. I believe he was the flamethrower operator. But anyway, um, that's it. I'm done speaking. But here are my four selections. I really like this one, especially Star Wars Adventures number 30, the uh, 1 in 10 variant. And uh, yeah, that's my contribution. And uh, I'll uh, be doing some more. And thanks for watching. All right.